Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I'm making this video after Game 3 of the Golden State, Oklahoma City dust-up. If you followed my advice here online, you've been loading up on OKC on a futures prop to win it all. You've gotten either 8 to 1 or 6 and a half to 1 odds, right? You got 6 and a half to 1 odds, believe it or not, right before tip-off of Game 3. Right now, OKC is up 2 1. What we're going to do is counterintuitive. Understand, while I think OKC is the better team, I'm a hedger. So, what I want to do is to lock in wins or at least eliminate losses. Now, right now, right here, keep in mind, you have a huge endowment because you're getting 8 to 1 odds or 6.5 to 1, right? You've already locked that in on OKC. Right, that's your potential winnings. Right now, since Golden State, inexplicably to me, because they've lost home court advantage, but since Golden State is still favored in the tournament, what you could do right here is hedge the play. That's what I'm recommending. In other words, take some of your expected winnings and put it on Golden State, right? You're getting, now let me say this, I personally believe that if Golden State loses game four, and understand, the jury's still out on whether Draymond Green's even going to be allowed to play, because you've already had a guy on Cleveland get suspended for a game for hitting a Toronto Raptor below the waist. I think if you look on the film, Draymond Green gets frustrated when the ball gets knocked away from him. That leg coming up, I think... You know, a third party could look at that and say, this is intentional. Since you've suspended the other guy for a game, Draymond Green, and let's face it, Draymond Green, quite frankly, right now when he's healthy, is the best Golden State Warrior. With all due respect to Curry, who's nursing a sprained MCL, a bad ankle before that, a knotted elbow, right? Curry's not Curry right now. If the Warriors lose Draymond Green, in my opinion, they have little chance of winning Game 4. And, let's face it, if OKC wins Game 4, in my opinion, the Warriors are not going to win three in a row. Even if they bounce back and win Game 5, because they are dynamic at home, good luck beating OKC in Game 6 at OKC. Right? If Draymond Green gets suspended... Things look awfully bad for the Warriors. But I'm not going to worry about that here because I like the odds. Golden State to win the tournament, understand. Uh, Golden State to win the series. Forget the futures. Just the series. You can get that at a minus 135 right now. Golden State to win game four, you could get at a minus 120. Now understand, we're being contrarians. We're already on the OKC part of the bet. You already have locked in from the casino 8 to 1 or 6.5 to 1 odds if OKC wins it all. Let me make another point here, too. When you see a guy like Biombo get more than 20 boards against Cleveland, and when you look at Kevin Love's performance in that last game, Cleveland, simply put, doesn't have the bigs to play against OKC. They just don't. Don't look at the smalls. Don't look at LeBron. Look at the bigs. Right? Well, anyway, since you've already gotten great odds, right? Think about how great it must feel to have 8-1 to one odds on OKC to win it all. Right? Since you've already got, had great odds on OKC, you can give back a little here. You could take Golden State in the series, or you could just take them in game four. Understand you're getting significantly better odds. We're not making the bet. Don't be confused here. We're not making the bet because we think Golden State wins game four. Right? No. The only reason we're making the bet 
is to plug a hole in our betting portfolio. It's to protect ourselves, get back the money we have put on OKC if lightning strikes and Golden State wins game four, right? Think it through. So my recommended play here, since you have a wealth of leverage, since you're already getting a great multiple, having taken OKC to win it all, since you're getting a great multiple, Here's where you hedge a little bit. You take some of your expected winnings, you put it on the other side of the play, right? The way masters do it is they'll hedge the amount they bet on OKC to win it all, right? Let's be real here, right? You're looking at <laughs> huge upside, right? You know, if you win, you're looking at getting back eight times what you bet. What you want to do is, after tonight, if Golden State pulls the upset, you want to get back from the casino as much as you put down initially on OKC. In other words, if OKC wins, great. You're that much closer to cashing in at 8 to 1 or 6.5 to 1. Right? If OKC loses... Guess what? Now you're truly playing with the house money, right? Because you still have huge upside if OKC is able to win it all, but you've gotten back the money from the casino that you bet on OKC in the first place, right? Again, you want to bet for strategic reasons, not necessarily because you think the team you're betting on is going to win. Give it a look. And if you're really a hardcore gambler, you might even want to wait until the ruling comes down on whether Draymond Green is eligible to play in Game 4, right? Because if he's not, it's going to be that much more upstream for Golden State, right? Your odds should be even better since you're going against the tide in taking Golden State, right? Simply put, though, just apples to apples, Looking at the teams, Steph Curry's not 100%. Festus is Zeely. Anderson, Ferrejo. Forget the 73 wins. These are the main backup bigs. Right? Festus is Zeely and Anderson, Ferrejo. With Andrew Bogut, the starter. And Maurice Sprates. Simply don't match up well. With Enos Cantor, look at his numbers from Game 3, Stephen Adams, and Serge Ibaka. What you'll also notice, too, is the defensive rotation of OKC is so good that they have Serge Ibaka at times guarding Steph Curry out by the three, right? Curry's three-point percentage is terrible this series by his standards. Right? When he puts the ball on the floor and moves inside of three-point range, he's losing a lot of his unique gifts. Right? People would much rather Curry hit twos against them than threes. Right? Golden State is in a lot of hot water. Understand, last year's playoffs, let's revisit them. They're down to Memphis. Did they play the Spurs in last year's playoffs? No. Did they play the Clippers in last year's playoffs? No. Let's remember, too, they were down to Cleveland, and Cleveland didn't have Kevin Love, right? Barely had Kyrie Irving, right? Irving's there a brief period of time, right? Now, I know I'm in the Bay Area. I was out last night. I was in a warrior watering hole we'll call it right i know warrior fans are trying to compare this team to jordan's 72 win bulls to shaq and kobe's three-peat laker team to bird McHale and parish right to moses bobby jones dr j andrew tony mo cheeks right to you know jerry wess's Laker team, right? I believe deep down, Jerry West, who's part of the Warrior franchise, knows. And I believe Steve Kerr 
who played on Jordan's Bulls know that this team is still a young pup team that really right now doesn't belong in the conversation of the best teams ever. Right? I'm sorry, but you don't belong in that conversation when your bigs are Bogut, Festus Azili, and Anderson Varejo. Right? So, look, let's see what happens incredibly after yesterday, after watching this OKC team take out a San Antonio Spur team that looked like they were on the cusp, right, in less than seven games. After looking at OKC win on the road against the Spurs and these Warriors. Incredibly, the Warriors are so overvalued that they're still favored in game four, right? All I'm saying here is for strategic reasons, not because the Warriors are going to win game four, but for strategic reasons. You need to be on the Warrior side of the play for game four, because understand, right, it's a great hedging opportunity. You're already dealing with an endowment that you got from eight to one and six and a half to one, right? If the Warriors win and this is a series, guess what? You're getting some money back from the casino while still having upside on the OKC part of the ledger. If the Warriors lose, great. Your OKC part of the ledger is that much closer to closing the deal. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Um, this week, I'm going to be lounging around in the middle of the week at Monte Carlo. If you see me in the sports book, just walk right up to me and say hi, and let's talk about uh, some basketball or other sports. Okay, good luck. I hope you cash this ticket. Take care.